Hello, hello. Hi, Virgos. Hey, Virgos. How are you guys doing? How you doing? How you doing? All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us here. Several, I appreciate you guys clicking onto my video. If this video resonates with you, please comment, like, subscribe, or even share. Uh, keep in mind this is a general reading, so this might not resonate with everyone. If it does, good. If not, then look at the other places in your chart, okay? Let's go ahead and get started. And towards the end of the video, if you guys would um like to purchase a personal reading or you guys would like to donate to my channel, all the description is down below. And by the way, you guys, while I was um meditating on your energy, Virgo, I was definitely seeing that some of you, there's going to be something unexpected that's going to come in as a shock. It's going to throw you off here. But yeah, let me see what that is. It could have to do with an air sign. Virgo, maybe an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here. But I'm definitely seeing this individual. They are they are pretty. Mm, I want to say this person doesn't really, you know, wear their emotion on their sleeve here. This person is a little bit cold, okay? But I'm seeing the decision coming through here, period, okay? Let's see what else, Virgo. Ooh. I'm seeing somebody standing their ground towards this person. Okay, Virgo, this could be you. Okay, maybe you have to speak your mind. Maybe you have to speak up or say something to this individual. Okay, because we have the four of swords here. Maybe you're trying to tame a beast within as far as I might go off. But you're going to stand your ground, okay, in the most in intellectual way, if that makes sense, okay? I'm seeing somebody trying to oppose you and you're going to handle that situation very maturely is what I'm seeing, okay? So somebody coming towards you, Virgo, and I'm definitely seeing you standing up for yourself, okay? I'm definitely seeing this person could have dealt, you could have dealt with this person before. This person could have tried to, ooh, definitely, terrifying. Mm-hmm. Okay, Virgo, I'm getting two scenarios. Is it somebody fighting for your love? Somebody wanted to give you some type of, you know, flirt with you a little bit, take things to the next level here? Okay, it could have been somebody from your past or somebody that you dealt with before. Okay, Virgo? Or I'm seeing somebody trying to come on in. Okay? And oppose you. Period. Trying to disrupt your um, foundation. Your, you know, trying to make you, basically stir up your mind. Make you think that what you're saying is not right. Okay, I'm trying to confuse you in a certain type of way. Trying to mess up your traditional ways is what I'm getting. Ten of Wands. Because mm -hmm. this person got a lot of baggage. A lot of burdens that have to do with them. Okay, Virgo. Let's see what else. Woo! Somebody let this month. This, excuse me. I'm getting the energy now, okay, Virgo? I'm seeing that somebody let this person go. They sacrifice the person because this person is way too damn much. They got, they got too, there's too much to come along with them. And I'm seeing it's like you're trying to speak your mind and let them know, like, this is what it is. I want to speak my mind, let you know, and then after that, let it go. Some of y'all feel like the only way for you to prosper to the next level is to get rid of this person. Okay, this is definitely somebody, this could be Gemini. Virgo, but this is definitely somebody that you had some type of sexual, you know what I'm saying, encounters with or, you know, dated, what have you, but definitely see you making a decision about this lover. Okay, Virgo, I'm seeing you, you know, stand your ground. Ooh, this person is, ooh. See, this person over here in depressed, they in depressive mode and regret. They're soaking over you here, Virgo. You got somebody soaking over you, honey. All right? Oh, hermit card in reverse. Ooh, you might lose your cool, Virgo. You might lose it. I'm going to be real honest with you, Virgo. You might lose your cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't, you might not even think this through because like I said before, it's going to come at you out of nowhere. And it's like you're going to feel a need to defend yourself when this comes. And it's like you might not be able to hold back. You might just say what it is that you got to say, and you're going to be about your business. But it might not be in a, the kindest way. Okay? All right. All right. Yeah, because you just want this situation to be over and done with. You ready just to live your new life. Period. Okay? 
Yeah, some of y'all got options, Virgo. That's why I was like, I got so many options. Like, I don't need you and I don't want you when you leave me alone, period. I'm not confused about what it is that I want. This person is trying to come in your life and try to stir some type of confusion, Virgo. Yes, honey. This woo. Some of y'all in two minds. Just, Leo got this too, but some of y'all as far as like you thinking about the past and the future. Because when they come in, they're going to be trying to flirt with you, talk to you, you know, get you back vulnerable. Is what I'm getting, Virgo. Trying to get you confused, get you in a state of confusion so that, you know, they can turn around and dump you again. Give you, the, give you that stress again here, but I'm getting. Ooh, the magician. What I tell you, this person is manipulative. Don't, don't, don't trust this person, Virgo. This person is very manipulative. Emperor, this could have been a father figure, Okay. An Aries, I'm getting an Aries. I'm getting a Taurus with this. Okay. This definitely could have been a father figure. Because of my Virgos. Okay. This person has some type of power. I feel like they have power over you, Virgo. Okay. But it's like they don't want you to go. They're waiting on something to come on in here. Are they just waiting on you to come back or what have you? But somebody waiting on something. This person, oh, honey, don't trust them. Get them out your energy. Let them go. Because this person, they just, they in a state of regret. Period. This is definitely an air sign. Period. Okay. But I'm definitely seeing you coming out of this, Virgo. Period. Point blank. I don't see what, what I come off of. Um, it says, Oh, why did I get married to or one one of them uh, with Tyler Perry? And she was like, you are my past. You are not in my future. And something like that. Something like that. You guys seen the movie? I know what I'm talking about. But and she said, ain't no future in it. Ain't no future in it. You are my past and ain't no future in it. <laughs> Ooh, that's probably going to be the title of this, honey. We got the strength card. Some of y'all. Yes. Oh, there you go, Virgo. There you go, Virgo. There you go, star. There you go, baby. So you healed already. Strength card to the queen of coins here. So you healed already, honey. It took a lot for you to get over the situation. Not necessarily the person, but what the baggage this person came with. Okay? You had to re-change your mind. Refocus your mind. Okay? Because the manipulation tactics that this person had over you, it's like... You had to retrain your mind to get out of that. Stop thinking like that because they were manipulating to the point, manipulating you so bad to the point where, you know, every okay, my dang on phone cut off y'all. Get it? This person don't want you to know this. This person don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear the truth. The Virgo is done. Period. Point blank. Let her go. Leave her alone. Leave him alone. Somebody got time. Queen of Wands, you stepped in your power. Period. You stepped in your power. Okay? Seven of Swords. And you escaped out of this situation. You got the hell on. Some of y'all could have completely, like, just vanished. Okay? Blocked. Period. All right. So, let me get into the your own magic tarot. Come on, boo. Believe in your own magic tarot, excuse me. Let's see. What messages do you have for my Virgos? Just give me one card for my Virgos. What messages do you have for my Virgos? Ooh, new. Well, we could take it. What is this for? I ain't taking it. That's three. All right. We have here dragons. Slay them all. I know that's right. I know that's right. Potion. Remember to practice self-love. And we have mural. Be your own priority. I know that's right. So I'm seeing, like I said, some of my Virgos. Some of y'all could be uh, the number 25, 24, and 6 could be significant to you guys. But definitely, I'm seeing some of my Virgos focusing on themselves. Okay. All right. They know they out here. They, they shit. Y'all shit Virgos. Okay. Absolutely. But anyway, so I'm definitely seeing all you slaying them all, Virgo. <laughs> 
Let me get, let me read off on that one second. Let me read off on that. I know that's right. Slay that ass, Satan. Slay this person. Mm -hmm. That's all you can do. The best for being is your paper. Okay. Okay, wait a second. If I could find it, y'all, please bear with me. Say, uh, bear with me. Please bear with me. All right. Come on, dragon, dragon, dragon. Slay them all. Slay them all. Y'all, yeah, I'm going to follow this. <laughs> and I wear glasses. Stop it. Okay. Oh, gosh, y'all. I can't find it. Don't get one seat. <laughs> Who y'all they didn't want y'all to hear this message today? Anyway, when the heart is involved, people don't always have the best intentions. Exactly. They will pretend they're good for you only for you to find out they're toxic or even abusive. Isn't that what I just said? Anyway, or even abusive. Like I said, the time has come to face your dragons. And you must slay them before they slay you. Of course, don't literally slay them, but make sure they know you won't stand for their mistreatment. And that's exactly what you're doing, boo. Slay the asses, Virgo. I'll see y'all later. Oh, let me get a fortune cookie. My bad, y'all. I got excited. I'm instead of just messed up. Like, I'm just so sick. That me being a light worker, I really get like this interested in people quick. And I literally like have no problem with cutting people off. Especially if they have bad intention towards me because it's like, damn, like I don't have intention towards you like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to play with nobody. Feelings or what have you. Or intentionally hating on their ass, you know, hating on them, whatever. For whatever reason. That's just not me. And when I see somebody else like that, that's not like that. Like me, it's like I look at them as foreign. I do not judge, but I mean, even if you're not perfect, even, you know, you're still living in the matrix, still learn to be a good person. Period. Ugh. Folks be getting on my nerve with that. Oh my gosh. Why do folks have to be so evil? It just don't make no sense. Honey, let me tell you. Let me stop. Because, <laughs> whew. Mm. King of Pentacles, trust. Ooh. Okay. Let's see what else. So you could have a... This could be you. Okay. Or if not, you could be having no earth. Ooh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We got two of the same pair here, the king and the queen of Pentacles. All right, we have somebody that's trustworthy and somebody else that is kind here. So, some y'all could already be in a partnership here is what I'm seeing. Okay, somebody with somebody that you can trust here. Okay. Bows, you ain't already dealing with another earth sign, but I'm just seeing two people that's on their business on the job here. But I can't, I am seeing drama though with this not a sword, this air sign. <laughs> ah, watch out for this person, okay? But I see you have each other backs here, period. Okay, I'm seeing that somebody got your back and you got somebody's back, but somebody's trying to come in between y'all, is what I'm getting. Oh, here we go, here we go with the haters. But I'm seeing you speak your mind, boo. You're not going to let this person come in your life and try to stir you any type of way, honey, is what I'm seeing. All right, so my cards are with you way. All right, so let me give you guys a fortune cookie card. I'm going to call it a day. All right. We have here intuition. Leo got that too. Trust your intuition. It's a great time to learn a new skill, change careers, or invest money. All right, what else we have? What else did he have? My Virgo. Surprise. A disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation could bring love to those searching. Mm. Like I said, I see love coming in. Two people that's on the same page here. Two people that's about their bag is what I'm seeing, Virgo. But I'm telling you before, like I seen something coming out of nowhere. It's going to be it's like a, a surprise. A shock is going to throw you off. And it's going to make you want to go the hell off. Try to maintain that. Speak your mind, but do it with humility. Even if you fuck up, it's okay. <laughs> Just speak your mind. Say what you got to say, but next time do better, you know? Because it's like, once that person feel like they can get you, Virgo, they feel like they can get, you know, you know, like, feel like they can test you, feel like they can get under your skin. That's kind of how they win. 
So it's like you got to handle that stuff with, you know, that argument or whatever you have to say with integrity, period, okay? We have here major life change. Time is right now for major life change. As a new lifestyle or location brings great joy and trouble-free existence. Yes. So some of y'all have already got away from this individual or these people. And you're slaying their asses, period. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this or being just that paper, period. All right, Virgo. I'll see y'all later. Thank you guys so much. Bye.